What do you think, Daxes? You want to go first, or you want me to go first? He, he's got a big smile, and I think he wants to go first. <laughs> Alright, let's try this out. Oh, it still doesn't work, really? <laughs> Man, I've tried to adjust this so many times. This is really hard to uh, set up several of these together. They don't go very far. I think cranking the vertical power helps a little bit, but then you take fall damage. Yeah, it's not an easy thing to, to do. Let's see. Now I have no way of just adjusting this either. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone 2. Okay, now. Now it might be good. Here we go. Yes! <laughs> we got it. Oh, man. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. You do take damage, though. Uh, something we might want to look into today, guys, is getting a, some sort of jetpack. Uh, seems like there's actually several quests for it. Like, there's the Ender IO jetpack, there's the Thermal Expansion jetpack, there was also Angel Rings. Ring Did I say wings or rings? Angel... Actually, I don't even know what it is. Is it an Angel Ring or Angel Wing? Ring. Ring that gives you wings. Right. <laughs> it's a little confusing. That's an iron gear. That's a basic gear. How are they any different? <laughs> I don't know. We're having some trouble here. Basic gear. Oh, it's just... Oh, it's just the stone stuff. Okay. That's easy then. Even easier. Uh, yeah, today, guys, maybe we will try to... Uh, Head over to the end and see if we can beat the dragon. We should really get some way of flying before we do that, though. So that's why I want to do this. So we got that. First step done. Should be fairly easy to, to run through this. Uh, next tier is the electrical steel jetpack. Cool. We want to go as high as we can here. We probably can't do this final tier one, but uh, maybe these other other two here. So what do we get? We got to do here now? Pulsating crystals. Okay, it's getting more difficult. Do we have any of those left? No, we don't. We used them all. Okay, I think that was just yeah. Good. And no. <laughs> what? Oh, I I still have it in my inventory. That's weird. Like this doesn't look faded at all, right? It looks like it's actually there, but it's not. Okay, next tier. Good. Claim a reward. And I guess that's as far as we're able to go, guys. We're only able to make one of these because they take emeralds. And we've used all our emeralds up on those upgrades to the storage room. So that will hopefully be good enough. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and charge this. <clears throat> oh, man, my voice. What's what's going on here? Uh, it took me a long time to, to figure this out, but you can actually charge things in capacitors. <laughs> I could not for the life of me figure out what machine you use in Ender.io to charge things for the longest time. It's a capacitor. Uh-huh. What else are we going to want to do here? Uh, let's grab some diamonds or a blue shiny rock and head over to our tinker's table. We want to upgrade our bolts because as they are right now, I think they only hold like 20 or so. And if we put a diamond on, I think it goes way up. Hopefully. Actually, let's not automatically do it. I want to look at this. So, yeah. It says... Ammo goes up from 12 to 79. That's good. Or 29 is the, the max right now. That brings up to 79. I think we can also add an emerald onto that. So probably a good idea. And then whatever upgrades we get left on it, we'll try to add uh, mending moss on it. <laughs> oh man, I did not expect that. Like I always use the thermal expansion jetpacks. The Ender IO one actually makes the jetpack sounds though. When you fly. Was not expecting that. Uh, let's head over to the nether just real quick here. We gotta shoot some mobs to upgrade our bolts. I think there was a zombie pigman in the portal there. Yeah, let's try shoot some guys. And then we can hopefully put some mending moss on our, our bolts here. Okay, we got an upgrade. Yeah, that's what we're, that's what we're fishing for here is some upgrades. And you're dead. How... Oh, there's another guy. Little spiders. 
<laughs> Makes like a squish sound. Oh, I'm almost dead. I gotta be careful. They really did a number to me. Okay, we got him. Uh, let's go ahead and eat some food. How many modifiers do we have on our bolts now? We have one free one, so we can put a mending moss on. Probably need a tinker's table, right? Yeah. Mending moss. So that allows this to recharge the ammo as long as we're in the sunlight, right? I think so. <laughs> it takes a bit of time, though. Once again, my inexperience with uh, Tinker's uh, construct is showing here. I thought this would give us an ammo like every 15 seconds or so. It's been about 10 minutes. We haven't got a single one. So it might not even give us any. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Uh, made some backup ammo here, and we have exactly three glowstone ingots left. We got these from a quest. Once these are gone, we cannot uh, make more until we set up our mechanism machines. So we're going to have to make do with this. Uh, okay. That will give us exactly 33 shots. We can't miss. <laughs> Might be able to kill the dragon with a single shot, though. I'm not sure. Like, if we have... Uh... 134.5 hearts damage with these bolts. Like, they're crazy. Okay, we have a little bit of a problem here. Making cake is a super pain in this pack because we can't fill in the recipe. Milk buckets don't stack, so I have to, like, manually drag and drop them into the recipe. Make one cake at a time. <laughs> it's brutal. We might need to set up a cake machine. I'm not sure. Anyways... Uh, it seems like our bolts are recharging now. I don't know if it's because we repaired them, but you can see we're up to 54. Possibly I was just standing underneath this tree the whole time, and it was blocking out the sun so the mossy uh, wasn't working on the bolts. I'm not sure. But it's all good now. Don't need to worry about it. Cool, so we're going to have ammo for the dragon. To actually get to the end, though, we got to make ourselves an ender cake, I believe. So... Yes. Right? <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, let's go ahead and, and drop this down. Oh, it's a single slice. It's usually a full cake. Let's see. Are we ready here? Could we do this? Let's recharge our, our jet pack. I have to be a little bit wary about uh, going into this, because if it doesn't work, there's no way back, right? Oh, uh, can we do this? Yeah. There's probably some wireless charger in this pack. We should look into that later, too, for our jet pack. Um, yeah, we got ammo. We got some food. I think I'm going to go for it, right? I think we'll be okay. Let's try this out. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, one second. Okay, I messed up a little bit here. I did some research. I thought you had to recharge the cake by adding more cake onto it, but I think you just need an ender eye, actually. Like, I made a bunch of these. <laughs> uh, it was a big mistake. Okay, yeah, you right-click it with the ender eye. That's the way you do it, not with the cake. Okay, so now that that's fully done, I think we can eat it. And made some extra food. Uh, Jetpack, I figured out how to hover as best as we can, so I think we're good to go. Let's do it. Here we go, guys. I don't know if there's an island or if it's a void world. We will find out. There might even be ores. Oh, wouldn't that be cool if there was ores in the, the end here? One of the big reasons I want to go here, though, is so we could maybe uh, hammer some end stone and start getting draconic dust. Oh, there is an island. Okay. We need to get out of here right now. Oh, I got hit. <laughs> okay, here we go. First shot. One shot kill. Look at that. That is nuts. <laughs> this bow, or crossbow, is insane. Yeah, we just one shot killed the dragon. <laughs> oh, and she actually drops uh, draconium. Oh, that's cool. Oh, we should farm the dragon then. For that stuff. That's probably 51 of it. Wow. That's a good way to get it off the start. Infinity booster charge. That's for wireless terminals, right? Yeah, allows a linked AE wireless crafting terminal to be used at any distance and across dimensions. 
Wonder what that does to the power, though, because as you increase the distance, doesn't that make the power go way up? Mm-hmm. Maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, what do we have here? Minicio. <laughs> okay, we don't really need that. This, I believe, is Draconium, isn't it? Did I bring my good pit? Yeah, we got our, our Silk Touch. Maybe we will nab this? No, we can't. Uh, I guess let's use our... Well, this is a fortune pick. I don't, I don't think it's a big deal if we use that. Look at that. Okay, so we got 56, and after we collect it here, uh, we got 9 from that. So that's pretty good. Let's see. Looking out there, I don't see any more end stone. Maybe as we get farther out, though, there'll be more. I'm hoping we can... Do I, do I have my hammer? Yeah, we do. Can we uh, get a bunch of crushed end stone for sifting? Let's give it a try here. Yeah, look at that. We got a, a whole bunch of it. Cool. That's the way we're going to do it uh, to begin with. And then we'll start generating the end stone um, once that's a little bit easier for us. Anything else of interest here? Uh, can grab a bunch of obsidian if we need it. Other than that, though, I don't think so. We're not really in a desperate need for ender pearls, so let, I guess we'll head back. Okay, we ended up right on top of the bedrock here. That's fine. Oh, why did our levels go down to 39, though? Uh oh, we were at 72. Mm hmm. Okay, guys. So this is what I had my eye on. This is what I wanted to make. It requires charged draconium, which I thought we would be able to do now that we got draconium. <laughs> but no, like you got to charge it in an energy infuser. The recipe has been made difficult though in uh, Kappa mode. Quite quite a bit more difficult. Uh, this stuff's not a problem. It's the cores here. We can even do this, I think, but the problem is uh, this blue gem requires Neptune uh, blue gem ore. Darn. <laughs> so that's our hiccup again. Once again, Galacticraft has uh, kicked us in the butt here. So that's still not unlocked in our book. I don't know what I need to do to, to unlock it. I think it's Ada? No, that's... This is it, Iota. Uh-huh. Still not unlocked, so we gotta just run through the quest book and keep keep doing things, I guess. Let's check out uh, the the crushed endstone. What do we get from this? Actually, I know draconium's one of them. We get uh, platinum, crushed nether quartz, silver, ender pearl dust. Not super useful. Fluix dust. Okay, that's a good one. We're gonna need that. Uh, broken tin, draconium, and lead. Okay, are you ready for this, guys? This is what I want to do. Make steel seeds. Steel seeds require nether pig iron ore. <laughs> we could just search the nether for that and get it, probably. But we're going to need to do this with a lot of different ores. Uh, so we're probably best off making this laser drill so that it can mine automatically for us, get these, these uh, different types of ores we need. Uh, to get the laser drill... We have to first do some of these starter quests. <laughs> so we're on the grinder. Then we need a slaughterhouse to make this pink crystal stuff. And then with the pink crystals, you make the laser drill pre-chargers. And it's a, it's a little bit of a, a long line up here. So let's go ahead and make the grinder first off. And electrical steel. There we go. We got it. Pretty good. If we set up a mob farm, we'll probably use that in as well to kill the mobs. Okay. This one actually gave us a reward bag. More soapy water. <laughs> got so much of that stuff by now. Okay, then we got the grinder. We need to set up a slaughterhouse. That is something I have never, ever done. I don't know exactly how it works. Oh, two, two axes, two swords. Gotcha. That just uses dark steel. I don't know how much of the crafting I should actually show you guys. Like, it's it's not super exciting, but it's also a really important part of the whole mod pack here is running through the quests. There's a lot of crafting involved. So I've just been, like, showing some of it and doing a lot of it off camera. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so we got the slaughterhouse. Now, how do you set this up, actually? Do you... I think you got to park the animals on top of it, right? And then it... Hmm... No, maybe not. I'm thinking of something else. Pink slime. You just got to kill them with this, right? That makes the pink slime. 
Okay, so we probably got to wait a moment to use this thing, because we need some sort of mob farm, like a chicken farm, where we can chop up the chickens, get to the pink slime, and then make the pink slime crystals with them, right? Um, so, again, it would be great if we had an auto spawner, but there is a tier down from that, probably. We could do a powered spawner. This won't work with the villagers, which is what we mostly want that auto spawner for, but this should work for chickens. But then again, we need emeralds. So where we're at right now is we got to get the mob system up and running again. <laughs> uh, so tell you what. Let's just do this. We're going to grab two ender chests, uh, maybe some kind of dye. Do we have red in here? We do have red. Should be fairly simple to do. All we got to do is get our conduits, head over to... Our chest here, everything is kind of collecting towards this chest right now and not going anywhere. But if we just set up an ender chest, pump it into there, should be all good. Anyways, these are going into this chest pretty slow, so we want to upgrade that. We'll put half of them in here. Oh, it's got to be on extract, right? Yeah. Oh, it only holds, it only holds 15. Oh. Okay, well, that's the fastest this will work then, which is pretty good. And then all we got to do, let's put this back, is uh, connect another ender chest up to our main wire for our storage room. Go down here. Yeah, somewhere in the back here would even work. Like even right here, if we want. Put that there. Put our speed upgrades in here. Uh, color code it. Look at that. So that's full of the stuff. Should be going into the, the drawer controllers and stuff. Uh, loot bags will be going into here now, right? Mm, no. Might take a little bit of time to, to get to them. Oh, is this not extracting? That's what it is. Aha, uh -huh. so once it gets these these loot bags, they'll start going into here. Yeah, there we go. Cool. So we should start getting emeralds again. Okay, you remember the other day, guys, when we killed all those zombies <laughs> from the safari nets? Turns out I was actually saving those for a reason. Because whenever we need to make, like, a Franken-zombie, it requires a, so a zombie soul vial, which we need for the power spawner. So we're going to do something a little bit risky here. I turned out all the torches. Oh, we got one. We did get one. Okay, that's good. We just need one. <laughs> for right now. There was no creepers there. Got lucky. Okay, let's head back to our islands. Alright. And we do have the villager soul vial. We're gonna try and make a powered spawner out of that if we can. I've been told it doesn't work though, but we're gonna try it. Okay, let's, let's do this. Trap you. Okay, and then in the soul binder we put the zombie. Oh, I guess those went back in here, right? Frank... Uh, zombie... What are they called? Z-Logic controllers, that's right. Logic... Yeah, made a bunch of those. Okay, we just need one, though. Throw that in here. Cool. Oh! <laughs> no, it went back in here. Okay, can we do the powered spawner now? Uh, should be good, right? Yeah. We'll use up a creeper head. Yeah, that's all good. So now we need a broken spawner. I think we got those from the Aether before. And we need our soul vial. So let's try put the villager into this if we can. No, it doesn't actually go in there. Normally it would work, but I think it's been disabled in the pack here. We should be able to do a chicken spawner though. Okay, so let's... Uh... Yeah, I got some more on me. Okay. <laughs> So let's try and make a chicken spawner, same way. That actually goes in there. Okay, and I do have the levels. Okay, good. That takes, I think, 25 million RF, which is quite a bit. Maybe let's upgrade this as well. Capacitor. So we do not wait around for things anymore. <laughs> We're not in that business. Yeah, look how much faster that is. Okay, so that made the broken spawner, the chicken broken spawner. Combined with a broken spawner in an anvil. Okay, it does take an anvil. So let's head over to here. Ha! Oh, what? What? 300 levels? 
No. Oh, that's evil. That is evil, guys. I've never had three level, 300 levels in this game ever. That's what it takes? That's crazy. Okay. Well, good thing we started those XP plants uh, last episode. Let's see how those are doing. They should be done. Yeah, they're 10, 10, 10. How much do we actually get from this? So it gives us these little experience essence things. <laughs> 300 levels. That's nuts. Oh, I trampled one of the crops. That's fine. Uh, let's let's actually... Oh, big leg spike. Um, we, got, we got a crop stick. Let's actually get that planted over here. So whenever we get a new plant, this is all I have to do. Is just put down a crop stick, put down the plant, and it starts automatically harvesting it for us. And then we got to add an entry for it somewhere too. So this uh, probably gets compounded in this, right? Oh, it makes bottles of enchanting then. Okay. And then... Seems to have found a spot on its own. It shouldn't. I don't know where those went. Did they go into our storage room? Like, all our spots should be closed. They might have went into the diamond chests here. Uh, bottles. Yeah, I'm guessing that's what happened. Okay, maybe we actually make a spot for them in our big wall here. Over there. Okay, so we'll start getting XP. So, uh, doing a little experiment here. We can't really get 300 levels anytime soon unless... Maybe if we could oh, resummon the dragon, but I don't think we can. Oh, come on! He one-shot me! <laughs> that's insane! Some of you guys have said that's a glitch. It just happens if I take damage. And I'm starting to think it is a glitch. Because I'm still at uh, 12 and a half hearts, right? I don't know. Anyways, here's what I want to try out. Spawn in some zombie pigmen, right? And then we take our artifact armor. Or weapon. And it doesn't work. <laughs> do I have to punch him with it? Oh, I do. It did not turn them into pigs. Oh, no. Oh, that's what I was hoping for. <laughs> Darn. I wanted to make a pig farm. Uh, or is it the other way around? Is, do pigs become zombie pigmen? No, I think it's zombie pigment to pigs, isn't it? Yeah, I guess it just doesn't work here. Oh, that's too bad. Okay, this was a bust. Okay, I just looked it up. I did get it wrong, apparently. It's the other way around. Yeah. <laughs> pigs into zombie pigmen. Not zombie pigmen into pigs. Darn. Okay, got a new plan, though. Ooh, he did, a, did quite a bit of damage. New plan is... Probably... Get some chicken essence here. So every mob seems to have its own essence. If you get nine of these, you can make four eggs and then probably spawn in some chickens. These require four eggs, though. We just used all the eggs making those stupid cakes, though, right? We have none left. <laughs> let's uh, let's check our chests here. Maybe if we're lucky, we do have the, the spawn chicken egg here. Um, maybe on Botania land, there might be some. Let's check this. Oh, there's an egg here, and a chicken. Don't see any in the chest though. We got feathers. No, so we're gonna have to get some some chickens laying eggs for a little bit here. Okay, let's actually try out the slaughterhouse, because I don't know exactly how it works here. Let's rotate this. I figured, like, if you put a sheep in front of it, it should just kill it, right? Yeah, okay, it did. That made meat. It didn't make pink slime. Hmm. Maybe this has to fill up of meat all the way, then it makes pink slime. That could be, which means you'd have to kill a lot of mobs. Okay, that's my assumption right now. <laughs> so what we're doing is uh, got two chickens. Oh, where's the thing? There it is. Got two chickens in a little glass tube here, sitting on top of some hoppers. We should get some eggs in a few minutes here. I uh, caught three more chickens and put them in here. We just need one more egg. We're so close. But it's going to take a couple more minutes, I guess. 
I found out you can make essence for pretty much any mob in the game. So that's what I've been doing here. Uh, all it takes is Imperial for most of these. Imperial, uh, you need a Minicio Seed and then something from that mob. Like Skeleton Essence, you need Skeleton Skulls. Uh, I just checked, like, you can even make Wither Skulls from, from Essence. You just need nine of those. You get Wither Skeleton from the Temperio, though. We can't make that just yet. There's Cow Essence, which is super good. So you make leather out of it. You make milk for automatic cake making. <laughs> you make pork and beef and wool from sheep. So, yeah, just kind of running through the line and getting all the things now. Uh, got some spider eyes for spider essence, enderman essence. So many different things here. Okay. Um, spider eyes. And then it's imperial. Or imperial. Aw, yeah. Okay, so we 10 10 10 the chicken plants here. Then we set up an autonomous activator to shoot eggs into a pit. And then we slaughterhouse everything in that pit. Whoops. Alright, we just killed the chicken. <laughs> Man, I guess this thing holds the power, doesn't it? Oh, that's evil. <laughs> you, just, you just put it down and kill anything you want. Uh-huh. So, kind of all over the place here to date, but there was a lot of things I did not expect uh, with, uh, with trying to make a mob farm here. But yeah, this will work out, I'm pretty sure. Anyways... Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. I think we got to wrap up for, for now. But until next time, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.